Hello, and thank you for joining me for evening prayer from Church of the Good Shepherd. For those of you joining me on Facebook, I hope that you'll see that this is finally posting in its entirety. Figured out that little glitch after months and months and months. So, let's take a few moments to collect ourselves, and our service will begin on page 115 of the Book of Common Prayer. Yours is the day, O God, yours also the night. You established the moon and the sun. You fixed all the boundaries of the earth. You made both summer and winter. O God, make speed to save us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. O gracious light, pure brightness of the ever-living Father in heaven, O Jesus Christ, holy and blessed, now as we come to the setting of the sun and our eyes behold the vesper light, we sing your praises, O God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You are worthy at all times to be praised by happy voices, O Son of God, O giver of life, and to be glorified through all the worlds. Please join me in saying Psalm 12, which can be found on page 597 of the Book of Common Prayer. <coughs> Excuse me, 597 of the Book of Common Prayer. Help me, Lord, for there is no godly one left. The faithful have vanished from among us. Everyone speaks falsely with his neighbor, with a smooth tongue they speak from a double heart. Oh, that the Lord would cut off all the smooth tongues and close the lips that utter proud boasts. Those who say, with our tongues we will prevail. Our lips are our own. Who is Lord over us? Because the needy are oppressed and the poor cry out in mercy. I will rise up, says the Lord, and give them the help they long for. The words of the Lord are pure words like silver refined from ore and purified seven times in the fire. O Lord, watch over us and save us from this generation forever. The wicked prowl on every side, and that which is worthless is highly prized by everyone. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the book of Daniel. Daniel went to his home and informed his companions, Hanahai, Mishael, and Azariah, and told them to seek mercy from the God of heaven concerning this mystery, so that Daniel and his companions, with the rest of the wise men of Babylon, might not perish. Then the mystery was revealed to Daniel in a vision of the night, and Daniel blessed the God of heaven. Daniel said, Blessed be the name of God from age to age, for wisdom and power are his. He changed time and seasons, deposes kings and sets up kings. He gives wisdom to the wise and knowledge to those who have understanding. He reveals deep and hidden things. He knows what is in the darkness, and light dwells with him. To you, O God of my ancestors, I give thanks and praise, for you have given me wisdom and power, and have now revealed to me what we asked of you, for you have revealed to us what the king ordered. Therefore Daniel went to Arioch, whom the king had appointed to destroy the wise men of Babylon, and said, Do not destroy the wise men of Babylon. Bring me in before the king, and I will give the king the interpretation that Arioch quickly brought Daniel before the king and said to him, I have found among the exiles from Judah a man who can tell the king the interpretation. The king said to Daniel, whose name was Belteshazzar, 
Are you able to tell me the dream that I have seen in this interpretation? Daniel answered the king, No wise men, enchanters, magicians, or diviners can show the king the mystery that the king is asking. But there is a God in heaven who reveals mysteries, and he has disclosed to King Nebuchadnezzar what will happen at the end of days. Your dream and the visions of your head as you lay in bed were these. To you, O king, as you lie in bed, came thoughts of what would be hereafter. And the revealer of mysteries disclosed to you what is to be. But as for me, this mystery has not been revealed to me because of any wisdom that I have more than any other living being, but in order that the interpretation may be known to the king and that you may understand the thoughts of your mind. Here ends the reading. Please join me in the Magnificat is found on page 119 of the Book of Common Prayer. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham, and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the Gospel according to John. Jesus looked up to heaven and said, I ask not only on behalf of these, but also on behalf of those who will believe in me through their word, that they may all be one, as you, Father, and I, as you, Father, are in me and I am in you. May they also be in us, so that the world may believe that you have sent me. The glory that you have given me, I have given them, so that they may be one as we are one, I and them, and you and me, that they may become completely one, so that the world may know that you have sent me, and have loved them even as you have loved me. Father, I desire that those also whom you have given me may be with me where I am, to see my glory, which you have given me, because you loved me before the foundation of the world. Righteous Father, The world does not know you, but I know you, and these know that you have sent me. I made your name known to them, and I will make it known, so that the love with which you have loved me may be in them, and I in them. Here ends the reading. Please join me in the Nook Demetis, found on page 120 of the Book of Common Prayer. Lord, you now have set your servant free to go in peace as you have promised. For these eyes of mine have seen the Savior, whom you have prepared for all the world to see, a light to enlighten the nations and the glory of your people, Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen.
continuous suffrages be, that this evening may be holy, good, and peaceful, we entreat you, O Lord, that your holy angels may lead us in paths of peace and goodwill. We entreat you, O Lord, that we may be pardoned and forgiven for our sins and offenses. We entreat you, O Lord, that there may be peace to your church and to the whole world. We entreat you, O Lord, that we may depart this life in your faith and fear and not be condemned before the great judgment seat of Christ. We entreat you, O Lord, that we may be bound together by your Holy Spirit in the communion of Blessed Mary, the Mother of God, and of all your saints, and trusting one another and all our life to Christ. We entreat you, O Lord. Almighty and everlasting God, who in the Paschal Mystery established the new covenant of reconciliation, grant that all who have been reborn into the fellowship of Christ's body may show forth in their lives what they profess, profess by their faith through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. O God, the life of all who live, the light of the faithful, the strength of those who labor, and the repose of the dead, we thank you for the blessings of the day that is past, and humbly ask for your protection through the coming night. Bring us in safety to the morning hours, through him who died and rose again for us, your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Keep watch, dear Lord, with all who work or watch or weep this night, and give your angels charge over those who sleep. Tend the sick, Lord Christ. Give rest to the weary. Bless the dying. Soothe the suffering. Pity the afflicted. Shield the joyous. And all for your love's sake. Amen. And I'll invite your prayers of intercession and of thanksgiving. <laughs> Almighty God, the giver of all good gifts, during this Easter season, we especially give thanks for the gift of your Son, Jesus Christ, and for his glorious resurrection, and the gifts that are given to us through Christ's resurrection the resurrected life and the Holy Spirit and reconciliation. We give thanks for this cashers community, Lord, especially for the Church of the Good Shepherd and the wonderful work that this congregation does together. Pray for all those who are suffering from any pain of body, mind, or spirit. Pray for the imprisoned and for the detained. Pray for travelers, Lord, and for the lonely. Give thanks for this wonderful season of spring when new life is all around us. And for these glorious blue skies that we have here in Cashers. Give thanks for family and friends, Lord, and pray especially for those who we haven't seen in such a long time. For those who are going through difficult situations and we pray for the departed eternal rest grant unto them O lord and may light perpetual shine upon them lord in your mercy hear our prayers we will continue now with the general thanksgiving and almighty god father of all mercies we your unworthy servants give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made, we bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love and the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips but in our lives, and by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Alleluia. Alleluia. Glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to him from generation to generation in the church 
and in Christ Jesus forever and ever. Amen. Thank you so much for joining me this evening.